tunnel vision set in for paramedics tending Yosef Al Hasnawi on December 2nd, 2017. They firmly believed he only had a superficial pellet gun injury. And that bias started the moment they got the call. The male patient was shot with a BB gun. He's got superficial wounds to the abdominal area. Code four. Christopher Marchant called back to dispatch on the way to ask why a pellet gun injury warranted a code four level alert. And he was told penetrating abdominal wound. Dr. Pat Crosscarry testifying today was not surprised at Marchant's confusion. The content was incongruous. It didn't really fit, Crosscarry said. Crosscarry believes most medical errors are due to unconscious bias, like the tunnel vision that afflicted the paramedics, Marchant and Steve Snively, seen here at an early court date. You'll agree with me that in this case, mistakes were made by the paramedics, Prosecutor Linda Shin suggested. I'm reluctant to call them mistakes, Crosscarry said. We know the decision that was made was wrong because we know what Yosef died from. But it's not like the paramedics did nothing, Crosscarry said. They performed tests and treated Al Hasnawi based on mistaken assumptions about his condition. The bias doesn't justify the mistake. It just explains the mistake, Shin said. The testimony is now complete and the trial will resume on March 10th for closing arguments. Lisa Hafner, CHCH News.